No better time than the present, right? Let's see if we can get a little sneak shot off on her. Yeah, this this primitive bow is... Oh, we took off her leg. What a lucky shot that was. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die Alpha 18 Experimental. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are going to start up a preseason. We'll call it a preseason while everything's still in experimental because it's going to change. We're probably going to have to start over and all that sort of thing. Uh, but we are going to, once again, play this game on the hardest settings, on Nightmare. Always run, basically make it as hard as we can make the game. And we're going to try it out. I played it a little bit earlier tonight uh, on stream, on multiplayer with some other friends, and I had a good time, but we were playing it on normal settings. And I messed around uh, at nighttime too when they ran, and it's pretty it's pretty challenging, I'm not going to lie. It's not going to be easy. So uh, we're going to see if we can do it, though. We're going to see if we can do it. Uh, the game seems to be running pretty well overall. Um, there were, you know, some issues, but nothing like game-breaking. Probably the weirdest thing that I ran into was the, uh, that the terrain chunks, you can kind of see them loading in, so that's a little bit weird, but I'm sure that's something that they will fix. But otherwise, you know, performance really wasn't too terribly bad. Plus, I was playing on a server with several other people, too, so a single-player game would probably be a little bit smoother. Okay, let's go ahead and um, do a new game here. And so we're just going... What we're going to do is we're going to call this uh, Old Guy 18... Um, XP1 for experimental one. Then if we have to, you know, start over on another experimental, then we'll do XP2 until we get to, uh, you know, the actual season. Okay. Uh, we'll do this. Let's see. We'll do a. Let's just go with one of these pre-existing worlds rather than generating. Otherwise, it's going to take a long time. So it, I don't think it really matters. We got Taxia County, Tabati County, Asos, Asos County Valley. Sakori County, West Wakaba Territory, Pregen 01. Um, but aren't these also Pregen? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just, yeah, let, you know what? Let's just go with this Pregen 01. It's, a, it's an 8K world, so decent size. Not super, super gigantic, but big enough uh, for us to do what we need to do. Okay, General. Uh, none of that matters because of the fact that uh, this is a single player game, basic settings. We're cranking this all the way up to insane. Uh, we're going to do 90 minutes. Day cycles, 18 hours in a day. Blood moons every seven days. We're not going to do a range thing. Uh, yeah, we'll do the morning. Now, here's where things get nuts. So they're going to be nightmare all the time. <laughs> okay. Uh, nightmare all of the time. Uh, we're going to leave everything else pretty much on the default settings for those settings. Advanced. Uh, loot abundance. Let's just set that to 100%. Loot respawn time is five days. Let's make that. Let's make that 15 days. A uh, drop on death, everything. When we die, it hurts. A uh, drop on quit, nothing. Blood mood counts 64 enemies. This one I'm a little concerned about because um, uh, it could it could really lag us out particularly on the experimental when they're still trying to work things on. So let's let's cut that down to 32 enemies. Uh, airdrops every three days. Uh, cheat mode is off and airdrop markers are off. We are making this really damn hard. I would keep that at 64 enemies if, if I felt my computer could handle it. And I got a pretty beefy computer, but 64 enemies I think it's going to be a little bit much worse. So we'll, we'll go with 32. Okay, multiplayer stuff does not matter. I think we're ready to do this, you guys. Let's get started. Let's get started. All right, so if you've never watched me do this before, um, this is not a Dead is Dead series. However, uh, we probably will uh, do uh, bring back our multiplayer Dead is Dead series, which we do on Saturday. Uh, so, um, yeah, so this is not a permadeath series. Uh, we're just going to, you know, play the game on the hardest settings that it has to offer and and see how we do. And, you know, I've done this in Alpha 16. I've done it in Alpha 17. And, you know, we do eventually get to the end game. Uh, but it's just, you know, it takes a lot lot longer. It's a lot harder because of these settings. But I, I do enjoy the challenge. All right. So it looks like we spawned in in the desert. 
Um, dear friend, the wasteland can be an unforgiving place. I found you naked and left for dead with no supplies. It looks like you crossed the Duke in a bad way and you could use some help. And close is a short guy to help you survive. If you complete it, we might just take in a new citizen, the White River Settlement. It's real and it's safe. Peace be with you, Noah. You know, I hope that someday there really is actually a White River Settlement that we can go to. I'm going to turn that game sound up a little bit. Okay, so these quests are basically very similar to what they were before. Um... The game's a little bit janky when it first tries to load in, but then it kind of smooths out. So, But it looks really good. I mean, the, the graphics have been in, in, improved. Um, we don't need this, and I don't think we can scrap it. So there's just, well, um, yeah, you know what? Let me look and see if it's easy to make later on when we do need it. Yeah, just five stone. So, yeah, let's get rid of that. We'll put our bandage here. This is just a little, like, you know, story mode uh, note here. Uh, so, why can't I... Oh, uh, okay, we might have to read that from our toolbar. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Oh, all right, let's put our food up in here and our water up in here. If you guys have not read the patch notes, they are long. Now, Alpha 18 is not... Uh, you know, from what I've seen and from what I've read, there's not like r real major new game features. What they've done instead of these, they've is they've uh, just they've fixed and changed the way you play the game. Um, and you'd have to read the patch notes, you know, read them all to figure out you know, to see what they've done. I mean, I sat down for an hour reading through those notes, and I still didn't get through all of them. I planned to, but I just hadn't, you know, hadn't gotten that far. So it's very similar to 17 in terms of, you know, the overall feel of the game. It's just that they've, you know, changed the way we do things and fixed issues and, uh, you know, and, and tweaked things a lot. So, and, and, you know, they have made it changes. They have made some changes. I mean, for example, it looks a lot better. So here's, here's the thing. This is a lead surface stone with a little, a little lead deposit underneath it. So you can run into these now. Uh, you can find iron, you can find coal, you can find lead. I'm s probably nitrate and all that, too. I, I haven't found nitrate, but I found the other three on the multiplayer game. And uh, you can mine the rock, and you can also mine, you know, the deposit underneath it for lead. But we no longer get d uh, resources from boulders other than just stone. So that's a, you know, that's a change that they made. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I will, I'll point out new changes as we come across them and as I remember them as we go here okay so you know we start out with the usual quest where they want you to make the bedroll and all that sort of thing uh they they overhauled the perk and skill system too so that's different now and um uh, one one big thing that they did is that when you die now you take an xp penalty rather than a health and stamina pen penalty so they changed that uh around Ultimately, if you know, if, if I don't know if that's going to be better or worse, I'm not really sure to be honest with you. It sounds better, but <laughs> we'll have to wait and see, you know, when it actually happens and then, you know, how it affects us, you know, because it uh, it uh, it takes a long time to level in seven days to die if you're playing on the normal settings, which I am. Everything is pure vanilla here, it takes a long time to level, and so you know, losing XP is going to hurt for sure. On the other hand, it was it really really sucked when you were killed at Alpha 17, and you know you lost your stamina and your health and all that sort of thing. That that uh, Grim Reaper uh, thing that happened to you that was no bueno, man, no bueno. Okay, so anyway, we're gonna we're gonna get Z's pretty soon, so we we need to start stepping it up here while I'm yapping at you guys. Okay, here's an iron surface stone, so that's what the iron looks like. And uh, again, you can mine all of that stuff. So we'll be definitely be doing that later. Uh, what else do I remember of the changes? They've made the stone axe. Uh, you you use less stamina now with it, so it's a little more forgiving in the beginning game. Uh, they also give us a third row. We used to not get this third row uh, in the beginning of the game too. So you know, just a lot of things like that that they've done to make it make it better. Um, you know, some things in Alpha 17 were just ridiculously difficult. Um, and so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm okay with them 
you know, making changes to make some some of these things a little bit easier just because I think they were excessively difficult in Alpha 17. Um, you know, because I don't really like it when games get watered down, but I think, you know, maybe, maybe Fun Pimps went a little bit too far the other direction with 17, so some of these changes are nice. Now, don't get me wrong, this is not easy. This is still a very challenging game to play from what I've seen. You know, I must have played like three or four hours on multiplayer earlier this evening. So, you know, it's not, I'm not saying it's it's easy now. Um, it's going to be super challenging, especially on our hard settings. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think, I think for, you know, everything I've seen so far, you know, they're, they're good changes, I think. So, all right, let's get our plant. Now, the thing, the thing that makes, uh, always run, that's going to make always run super hard for us is, you know, they changed the way the melee works. And honestly, I haven't really decided if it's better. <laughs> uh, it's supposed to be better. You're supposed to have you know, a better chance of of hitting them now. And I, I think that is mo mostly true, but um, it's it's really hard to, to get a whack off on the zombies and then dodge them hitting you, you know, and then when they're running at you, that makes it even that much more difficult. So we will probably be relying quite a bit on uh, ranged, at least in the early game, if not all the way through. Another thing they've done is they've They've added, they've changed the starter bow to a primitive bow, and then they have another uh, level up after that called a wooden bow. And the wooden bow is actually really nice. It feels good. Uh, you can hit stuff with it. Um, but this primitive bow really sucks. I mean, it's it's just, it's very hard to use. It doesn't feel like, you know, the, the wooden bow feels a little bit more like the old Seven Days wooden bow. But I think it's actually even a little bit better. Um... So yeah, that primitive bow is really hard to to use. So we'll definitely, you know, be looking for the wooden bow as soon as uh, we can get our hands on it because it, it's much improved. Okay, so let's do our club here. So we're just going to finish out this quest, and then it's going to give us um, it's going to give us I think four points to start with. So we'll do the primitive bow. And then it's going to want arrows. And we are going to be major, major on the lookout for arrows. Or, I mean, for feathers so we can make arrows. Uh, because, like I said, it's, we're, we're going to really be relying upon ranged here in the very uh, early game on the insane settings here. Another change that they made for those of you who don't play on Always Run is you're still going to get... Uh, the zombies occasionally running at you because what can happen is they can enrage and then they all of a sudden speed up and come after you. So that happens even on the normal setting. So just kind of, you know, be aware of that. Um, right now I'm just kind of looking for bird's nests, you know, so we can do as many arrows as possible. Let's put that in our second slot here. And let's just start crafting arrows. So we need stone. We're, we're going to use this to make bandages. Um... We should we should make a bandana soon too, but let's let's make bandages first. Now we do have this one, but that one's not going to last forever, of course. And we're going to need this for bleed because you, there's a greater chance for bleed effect now if you don't have armor. On the other hand, if you do have armor, you, there's a less of a chance that you'll get the bleed effect. Uh, they've increased the chance for food poisoning and for getting uh, infected, so we we want to really really avoid getting hit for those reasons. And on top of you know not getting hit because it hurts us. So it'll be cool. It'll be cool to see how, how how we progress and how things go. I don't know if uh, all of the same tactics that I used in Alpha 17 will work in 18. I'm, I kind of guess that for the most part they probably will. But, you know, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see how all that goes. Um, okay. So let's do a wood frame here. I kind of want to stay in the desert for now just because um, we can see the bird's nest better and we don't have to worry about heat until I think we hit level 6. So we have, you know, that grace period, which is really nice. Okay, and then I think the last thing we need to do is make a campfire. Let's go ahead and harvest this boulder. Looks like we have a town over there too, which is good. Oh shit, we got a vulture already. That's not good. Oh, look at the sky. That looks really nice. 
Yeah, they definitely have made the graphics look nicer on this game. For sure. I've got them turned up fairly high, too. I've got, like, motion blur and, all, and uh, depth of field turned off, because I just don't really like those things. Sometimes I like depth of field in some games. Oh, man, that vulture's making me a little bit nervous. Okay, let's make our campfire. It's just kind of circling now. All right. I'm sh pretty damn sure... Oh, he's coming after us. I just saw him dive. Where'd he go? Uh, one, one, actually, there is one kind of bug thing that I noticed in the multiplayer game. Is your, your bow unloads. Just, like, randomly seems to, you lose the arrows out of it. So, yeah, that's not good. Because it, sometimes it happens when you don't want it to happen. Well, you never really want it to happen, but when you don't expect it, you know. I'm not sure what that guy's going to do, but he's definitely making me nervous here. Okay, let's get that thing put down so we can finish the quest. Uh, okay, yep, yep. So now we need to go to the trader. Okay, so we finished out that boulder. Let's, uh, we, do, we have four points that we can... Spin now, and zombies are in. Okay, so how many more arrows can we make? We want a bunch of arrows. So we can make 11 more of those. So we still need to find more feathers. We got a bunch of rocks now. Oh, we need more um, wood, too. They changed the, you know, the animation. Uh, uh, you know, of different things. Uh, so that looks a little bit better than it did before, too. I like the, the swing of the axe. It feels feels better. All right, let's repair that. We'll head over to this tree. And we'll get ourselves a nice little pile of wood, too. And then it's really just a matter of uh, chicken. Then it's just really a matter of finding... Um, feathers. See, now the vultures, they would attack you if you were hurt. If you're not hurt, I'm not sure. I mean, I, I wouldn't put it past that bastard to come and attack us anyway, but maybe it's just less of a chance that he will. I'm not really sure uh, about that. Let's, we got a bag and a car. Let's see if we can get anything good out of either one of these things. Gunpowder. Okay. They've changed uh, all the icons, too. Now they're all HD icons. Man, I hope we don't run into this shit a lot. Alpha 17 was just stingy as hell when it came to, you know, looting stuff. Yeah, I hope they've made that better. I didn't really loot a lot of bags and stuff on the multiplayer game earlier to really know if that was changed much. But, yeah, it was bad. It was one of those things, it was so bad that, you know, 90% of the time, and I am not shitting you, 90% of the time, you wouldn't have anything, or you would you would have worthless crap in the bag. And so, you would always check at the audience anyways, because you just never knew, you know, there's always that very small chance you might actually get something worthwhile. So you'd waste your time to check it, and it would waste your time about 90% of the time. So it was just frustrating as all hell. And uh, like I said, I hope they really fix that. Um, in Alpha 18 here. Okay. So let's start moving towards the town here. And, um... Oh, you know, another thing we can do now is we can make a spear. And I kind of like... I kind of like the spear. It's not really... doesn't seem to be a very good melee weapon, but it's, it's not bad for ranged. Um, and you can, re, you know, you can recover it, too. In fact... Uh, let's make, let's make like three of them. So that they're kind of nice for, you know, they, they can do fairly decent damage when you throw them. And then of course we can spec into those and make uh, more stuff. See, second backpack we've checked and doesn't have anything in it. That's not, that doesn't bode well. <laughs> it doesn't bode well. Ah, okay. Well, you know, I mean, they've, they, they've made some nice improvements, but... You know, not everything's going to be fixed or changed. 
Woo, look at that. All right, that's a not a bad find. Oh, can't we not stack these? Can't. Okay. Uh, we're going to get more brass now in Alpha 18, which is very nice. Okay, iron pickaxe. Pick, pick I'll take that. That was a good find. Uh, we should probably... Can we still get bones? Yeah. Bones and nitrate. Okay, we're not going to do that, but we need five bones now to make a bone knife. It used to only be one or two. I think it was actually only one. Whoa! Holy moly! That vulture's still following us around. He hasn't attacked yet. But he's not, uh, he's not leaving us alone either. Um... So, does a zombie step on a landmine over here? I'm not sure why we had an explosion. Yeah, well, is Edgar? He's right there. Well, he was right there. Ah, yeah, there are landmines there. This is like just a tiny little piece of wasteland. Interesting. Beer. Okay. We'll take that. Oh, shit. Here they come. Okay, she lost sight of me. All right, you know what? We're going to have to do this eventually, so let's just do it. Let's set a bed roll down over here. And let's try and kill her. We're going to have to... Oh, we don't want to run into him, though. Uh, we're going to have to get used to doing this, so... No better time than the present, right? Let's see if we can get a little sneak shot off on her. Yeah, this, this primitive bow... It's oh, we took off her leg. What a lucky shot that was. Uh, primitive bow. There's a lot of drop to it. more, Way more than, you know, what we're used to. So, yeah, that was, that was actually quite fortuitous <laughs> that we took her leg off. But, you know, we're on, on insane, so it's going to take a million shots to kill these guys. Let's try, um, let's try the spear. We got her in the shoulder there. Damn. Okay, let's go back this way because I don't want to run into Cowboy Bob over there. See, it unloaded, it unloaded my bow. Yeah, you got to fix that. Okay, off of their head. So we can recover these. Uh, well, we're supposed to be able to recover them. Hmm. There we go. Okay. All right. Yeah, that, uh, we need more arrows. <laughs> we need a bunch more arrows. Okay, let's, uh, let's keep looking for birds' nests, because we got a pretty decent supply of wood, and, well, stones get a little low, too, but, uh, I would like more arrows, because that took a lot of shots to kill her, and she was on the ground, fortunately for us. But most of them will not be on the ground, so we need the bird's nest. One feather. Okay. <laughs> One feather. Here we go. Four feathers. That's a little better. Let's uh, get those going. Yeah, finding that pick was nice, though. Uh, in fact, you know what? That damn buzzard was really... Messing me up, but let's um let's do some some really quick uh, perks here. So we want to go to agility, and we want archery, of course. So we'll unlock that. Um, I want the uh, rule one cardio, and I'm actually I'm actually going to go with uh, the food, the first food one. I don't remember where that's at. Master Chef. Uh, because then we can make bacon and eggs, uh, grilled meat, boiled meat, baked potatoes, cornbread, teas, and coffee. We need that stuff. Desperately need that stuff because of the increased chance for food poisoning. And I mean, that that's good food. I mean, that food could theoretically last us for the whole rest of the game. So let's just do that now and get it, you know, get it going. Um, pack Mule's probably not a bad choice for us to take. We also could, um, I hear 
footsteps. <laughs> we also could, you know, based upon how we're going to be playing, uh, Hidden Strike or From the Shadows, either one of those would really help us around a, a lot. 13% more effectively in the shadows. Noises are muffled 10%. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that. The very early game here on Insane Difficulty Nightmare is about avoidance. You don't want to actually get in a fight if you can avoid it, but you can't always avoid it. Um, but you can, you know, you can try, right? And so getting those stealth skills will help us uh, with that. Okay, let's go. I thought I saw a Z right over that way, so let's kind of sneak around this way. I'd like to kind of get near the trader because we're definitely going to utilize the trader for questing and, you know, for buying and selling and that sort of thing. So I'd like to, whatever we decide to set up our base, I want to be somewhat near uh, where the trader is. <clears throat> nice, eight feathers. Okay. All right, we got Baldy over there. He's generally pretty damn tough. It's not nice enough if I don't have to. It is noon. So the day is half over. Yeah, see, that looks really good. Uh, definitely improved on the graphics for sure. Have an apartment building there. Those can usually find a lot of good food and uh, cooking pots in there too. But uh, like I said, I, I think I just want to get to the trader first. At least hit, get the trader in sight before we. Yeah, they made the animals harder to kill now too, and and rightly so. I think they were too easy to kill at Alpha. Uh, in Alpha 17. The pig is actually downright dangerous now because he is so hard to kill. And he will wreck your day. I could use the meat off this guy if we could get him. Yeah, this bow sucks. Right? Took his head right off. That was a good shot. <laughs> Yeah, as long as we can keep Edgar from... Oh, damn that buzzard. They changed that animation, too. Okay, Edgar, you stay away from us. I don't like you. Okay, how much meat do we get? 30 meat. Okay, good. Now... One thing they didn't change, which irritates the hell out of me, is that you still need five pieces of raw meat to make one piece of cooked meat. That's bullshit. <laughs> I absolutely hate that. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. We're not going to try and kill Mr. Pig right now, not until we have more firepower, because he'll he'll give he'll he'll wreck us. How do I know that? Because I experienced it firsthand on the multiplayer. <laughs> I tried to kill a pig and it got me. Um, yeah, I mean, that, you know, that was one of my big gripes about Alpha 17. And it's, you know, it's kind of a little thing in the grand scheme of things. But, yeah, I mean, I just don't get the logic of that. It doesn't make any damn sense. But, you know, it's still the way it is, so whatever, we gotta deal with it. We got 30 pieces of meat off that deer, though, so, you know, that's six steaks for us. Okay, well, let's keep working our way towards the trader here. Now, <clears throat> again, if you guys are new to always run Nightmare Speed, um, the one thing about nighttime is it doesn't matter, really, because they run all the time. So it doesn't matter if you're out at night or not. Other than the fact that you can't see as well. that is That's definitely a thing. Well, you have to contend with that part of it, but they're going to run anyway. And in fact, because it is dark outside, you actually, especially if you have hide in the shadows, which we just took a point in, 
you can actually hide better from them at night if you stay stay low. So nighttime can be your friend. But there's also ferals out at night too. And that's not good. The normal zombies are hard enough to kill on insane when we deal with ferals. That's gonna that's gonna be fun. <laughs> that's gonna be so fun. Okay. So let's just kind of keep did we finally lose? No. Are you kidding me? We just started. Whoa. That damn buzzard has followed us the whole way, but he hasn't attacked us, though. All right. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to wrap up the episode here. And uh, I'm just going to keep... Uh, well, no, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the next episode immediately so we'll just keep on going but uh, we are out of time in this one so hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did hit that like button and subscribe to the channel share out the video and leave a comment those things do help the channel and i greatly appreciate it and we'll see you guys all in the next episode Bye bye